you wanna sell more products and make more money from your website, then the e-commerce funnel is for you. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith with Automation Links, and today I'm gonna to teach you about the e-commerce funnel. It's one of my favorite funnels out there for your website. Whether you're selling services or products from your site, if you set up the funnel the right way, you'll be able to continue growing your sales and scale your business online. We just had a customer sell $100,000 in one month from their e-commerce funnel. We had another client that does $160,000 a month from his e-commerce funnel. And what it does is it builds a relationship, it gets people to sign up, it follows up with them, and the marketing is on point to get them to come back and buy more from, from you. So tip number one is you actually have to build the e-commerce funnel. So what this means is choosing the best software that's right for you, um, getting all the right tools, making sure it's fast, making sure that process is set up, Imagine if Amazon had a website that was clunky, that was slow and then didn't, didn't work. They would have never been able to grow to where they're at now. So you need to have the strongest foundation of software for your e-commerce funnel. You wanna make that checkout experience exactly like how Amazon has it because that is basically guaranteeing that customers will trust you, they'll be able to easily go through that funnel and most important, put their credit card information and buy something from you. Number two, customer copywriting. Make it all about the customer, what their needs are, what they're looking for, and make it about what they're actually searching for online. So if somebody searches something in Google, comes to your website, and they realize, or they're not really sure exactly what the product or services are that you are offering, they're gonna leave, they're gonna exit right away. So you wanna make sure your marketing is the same as your copywriting. So when somebody comes from social media, Google, through an email and they land on your website, they can relate right away. They know exactly what you offer, they know exactly how you're gonna help them, they know exactly how you're gonna solve their pain point, and they're gonna be much more likely to go through the process, sign up and buy something from you. Tip number three, this is my favorite, because automation links, automate the entire e-commerce funnel. If it's not automated, you're gonna lose out on tons of sales. There's things you can set up like abandoned cart emails, repeat customer, uh, emails and messages, and also asking for them to leave you reviews. One of the biggest things that people see when they go to Amazon, as an example, is they read the reviews, they see the star ratings. And most likely, if you don't go out and ask your clients for reviews, your website probably doesn't have any reviews for them to look at. So you're gonna lose out on a lot of sales there. So make sure to set up reviews in all of your products and also an automation process to ask all of your clients and all of your visitors to leave you a review. Number two is the abandoned cart feature. If anyone comes to your website and they fill out their email, they get started on the checkout process and they leave. Maybe they get distracted, they have an appointment and they don't come back to finish their purchase. You need to be able to email them. And another cool thing is you can actually Facebook message them also. So anytime anyone comes to your site, you wanna make sure you follow up. And then the last thing about the automation process for your funnel is asking for repeat customers. So people that have already purchased something from you are the easiest ones to come and ask to come back to your site. So you can actually get three times more sales if you ask customers to come back and buy more. You can ask them to add on other products, um, get new features that you offer, or whatever it is for promotions you can send to them, and that's gonna 3X your sales from one customer. Last but not least is marketing. Number four, you got to market the product, but don't start marketing, running Facebook ads or doing your Google stuff until you have your system in place. Set up the e-commerce funnel, test it, use it organically with your friends, family or current customers, get some sales from it, and then you can start the marketing process. So next you need to determine where your customers are actually searching for your product. Are they on Google? Are they on Facebook? Are they on LinkedIn? Are they in your email list? Determine where that is, where they're actually searching for your product, and then that should be your main marketing channel. For example, the majority of businesses out there need to start with Google. That's where people go when they wanna find something. Whether it's a local business, a product, a service, they go to Google, they search for exactly what they're looking for, and you could show up there with a Google ad. Then they come to your website, they browse around, they either buy, get added to the abandoned cart, or you can retarget them with Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube ads. So now you have a complete funnel here. You've got your website, your e-commerce, your products, your copywriting, your automations in place. Now you can start the ads from Google to retargeting with YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. 
So if you already have an e-commerce or a shop set up, make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know what that link is so we can go check it out. And if I see anything on there, I'll let you know if there's anything that you can fix or improve it. If you don't have one set up yet, make sure to reach out to us and we'll set you up on the strongest foundation. We'll build it, automate it for you, and we can even help you market it. So thanks again for watching the video and I will talk to you soon.